Hey there, everybody. Um, these are my cosplay slippers. I got them for like four bucks on Amazon, and obviously, they are super flimsy and they're just going to die as soon as I put them on and try to walk around in them. I obviously have only put them on to see if they fit and took them off pretty much immediately. So they're pretty much right out of the package and the soles are just so tiny awful. So today I am just going to shit. <laughs> I'm just going to reinforce the soles of these using duct tape. Um, lots of it. And we'll see how this feels. I'm not a neat freak, so I don't really care if it has any super major, I mean like super tiny small bubbles in it or whatever. I do care if there's any like big ones or anything so here's what it looks like so far and um, when I'm done I'm going to cut all around so that the sole stays to the slipper and doesn't have all this grossness on the side so yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna do this over and over and over until I am satisfied with how much look at that it's already stiffer so I'm just going to repeat this until I am satisfied with how the slipper looks. So right now I am super carefully um, just cutting out what I have so far. Careful not to actually cut any of the slipper fabric. Um, this is three layers. I've done three layers. Um, and I'm just cutting it now so it's not such a big pain in the butt to do when there's a lot more. So this is what the sole looks like. I don't do the prettiest of cutting jobs because I'm not perfect, 
but I am going to put a few more layers on there. See how much stiffer it is <laughs> already. So I can make these last quite a bit longer. So this is layer number five and so I've done, after I did three um, vertical layers, I did a bunch of horizontal layers and then covered them up with vertical layers again. And so I'm going to, oh, so much more stiff, it's quite a bit more thick, that's awesome. So I'm just going to re-trim all the way around and I know it looks like I'm wasting a lot of duct tape. But guys, look at that. <laughs> That's so much duct tape, and it's okay, because I don't use duct tape that often. So, no big. So there we go, I think I am done with um, my slipper, um, yeah, so you could do it on the inside too if you wanted, um, I might do that because I'm going to be wearing socks, but then again I don't have white duct tape, that's why I'm not curling the edges around, um, yeah, but it is so much more thick now. And I now have a sturdy sole that I can walk around in and not worry about my slippers getting too, too ruined. But yeah, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew fur over the top after I repeat this on the other sole. And yeah, as well as look, now all this duct tape is over, it's all these seams, they're not going to come apart and the fabric won't come off as easily. And there is a few bumps here and there, maybe a few air bubbles, but I don't really care. It's the bottom of a shoe and I just want the shoe to last. So I mean, comparatively, that's, that's a lot. It's a lot. And that was only like five layers, guys. So, yay! And looks so much less wobbly. So these are way more sturdy. And they will last so much longer. And they only cost me like, I don't know, five, six bucks to make. So, yeah! Awesome sauce. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye! <laughs>